everyone talking about unholy oud by born to stand out the notes in this are bergamot lemon incense turkish rose bulgarian rose laotian oud vanilla indonesian patchouli tonka bean sandalwood rosewood and heliotrope so i think this is a much more interesting take than usual on the rose and oud scent though personally i actually wouldn't call this a rose and oud scent but i'm kind of if i was i was gonna say if i was describing it to someone but i guess that's what I'm doing and I'm sort of calling it that. But I mention that because the product page refers to that in some ways, like, oh, rose and oud, blah, 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 blah. But here, like the lemon brings a brightness, the incense is kind of actively burning in the background in a way that I really like. The other woods really round out the oud here and the heliotrope and vanilla add a nice creaminess. So the oud is certainly present, but I actually think this is very, very wearable as far as oud goes. It's not super pungent. It's not like barnyard animalic. There's something almost like spiritual feeling about the scent too. So I, I would say it's more like holy oud than unholy oud. I would have thought maybe it was more like badass vibe or like super intense or something with that name. But no, I, I think it's good though. Uh, very well blended, interesting yet wearable. I got moderate longevity and projection from it. And I would say it's unisex leaning masculine overall. 185 for a 50 mil and I'll link in the description where you can get bottle or sample.